Nathan Wilson is playing pretty high. He's uh, intercepted a couple now. English v Darcy. Oh, Darcy got it on his own terms. And what a fantastic kick from Mr. Darcy. English now. Bonson Pally can go to work out of the middle. With a devastating looking long kick. Wallace got conquer where he wanted and kicked a crafty goal okay. in game 150. Move it on straight away, did it with good effect, but it, it gets difficult. And in the end, Conquer employed the fist. The danger has certainly not passed. Liberatore. Johannesson got forward last week and kicked two, and he's curled one through here. Fine strike. Tell everyone about it. Has that been slowed up a bit? No, no. Oh, untidy, and that allows Henry in. Shields should nail this one from 40 with a vacant goal square, which he uses to his advantage. The beneficiary eyes off Nat Fife. Why wouldn't you? 55 to 60 from goal. No marks inside forward 50. Contemplation over now. It's going to be hard. He's got the breeze. This is going all the way. 19 disposals last week was the first time he's been under 20. Kicks to the height and the hands of his teammates. There was English, there was Bruce, and it was Tim English who took the mark. Shut down immediately, though, by Wilson, who oh, made a nightmare of that kick. And Bailey Williams, even though it's into the wind, he can take some serious ground with a kick. Norton, well, it looked like he was too casual. He ends up kicking the goal. Emphatic mark taken by Rory Lobb. You, you. Fife already with one in the corner. Chance to get another. Kayla Daniel, you can see in the screen, just jogging out. He's gone forward, so they've done a job on him. Me. Little pop kick, and Bruce. He's set now. And it works its way back perfectly. Right. Collier came through, through Hill. He's on the back foot though, Collier. Claimed by closer. Dunkley. He's their leading tackler and he showed why. Yeah, yeah. This man not bad either. Lepratore puts it on the chest of English. Schiltz, so they... Here's the width of the ground this time. Oh, he just took a step too long. Great smother from Crozier. Then they're after it again. Back up, Schultz. Sister, he got slung. Well, that's... Yeah, you just see the pressure, Hunter. You got the smother, you got the tackle. All those elements we showed you with the pressure gauge coming to the fore. Their star forward, Aaron Norton, has gone to hospital to get some caution... Well, or get some scans to find out exactly what's going on there. As Luke Beveridge said, their ability to pressure up at the source and win the ball back has been first class and the game on display there. Darcy, oh, Hogan should and does. Libertor out of the front. There's equal numbers, so the dogs have an opportunity. Keith Crozier, usually together down in defence. Bruce arrives in the nick of time. Bailey Smith, he's crunched that kick, and on the breeze, it sails on through. Some wrong. And another one. Hill, tough one to handle for Chera. Fife chimes in with a big, prolonged tackle. Now Akers, Bontempelli, not quite, Friedrich. Oh, good lightning hands, Friedrich, trying to get it back to Sarong. Instead, it's Croton. He got past one, but not Liver, impassable at the moment at ground level. No one gets through Liver. He had the short on in Friedrich. He's gone longer. Oh, Easton Wood. Almost turn back time. That, that's what that's why Rory Lobb doesn't want to be at the end of him. With Rourke Smith. It's been such a like a dour affair since half time that it, whenever a team gets it into their front half, it can spend four or five minutes. In. Oh, little sidestep. Smith, top of the square. Oh, Hunter. Oh. He's got it. But Fremantle are going to have to find something and find it quickly. He's got it again. His 30th disposal, Lockie Hunter. Richards. Caleb Daniel. He's got forward. He's joined in the party. 
It's all right. Tries to hit up English. Darcy was left on the floor. Oh, and Tim English can run it home. Oh, no, he wants to give it off. To the bump, the bump, the bump. Who so puts it through and then says, I'm sorry. It looked a bit shoulderish um, at the time when he was jogging off. So. Siren about to sound. It's taken the Western Bulldogs to the last round to secure their place in the eight. For now, they're seventh. And we only have to go back to 2016 to know how damaging they can be from there. Well done, the doggies. They're playing finals again.